Is the Matt Scharf good, good golf hole in one at Diamante faked? Did they fake it? We're going to get into it right here, right now. I've got some good stuff for you, different perspective. And I think we can all um, learn about this together and really come up with the truth behind this hole in one. Before we do, uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. We're going to give you hopefully an in-depth look, breakdown, insights into everything YouTube golf and around the golfing world. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much. Also, um, Seven Diamonds having a huge sale. So link in the video description below for your awesome, awesome, like 30% discount. Check it out uh, for probably two weeks left on that sale. So you got you to gotta hurry. You got to pull the trigger is what I'm saying. Okay, back to the topic at hand. Matt Scharf, is it faked? Okay, I no, it is not faked. I'm going to go over why it's not fake, even though there's a lot of reason for you um, skeptics out there to believe that it, it was faked. Okay, first off, just uh, the other day, uh, George Bryan, in uh, his collaboration with Grant and Micah and uh, Busta Jack, I believe, they were down in Bermuda, and George calls his hole-in-one. They're playing a par-3 course, and George says, here's how you hit a perfect shot, blah, 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 and he aces it. <laughs> that's, that's solid. Well, on the heels of that is this Matt Sharp. It's like, oh, you got a hole in one on a par three. Oh, we're going to ace a par four again. Same dude aces a par four. So it was like the perfect storm also for conspiracy theorists. So they're down in at Diamante down in Mexico. Good Goods filming a bunch of content down there. Okay. Two of their camera guys uh, are... Like Colin and I think Max, I believe, are not there for passport issues. Why you guys, I, so I blame Colin, I think it's Max, Colin and whoever, Colin and Max, I, there's two guys. It's Colin's not there. He has passport issues. I don't know why you don't have a passport. Weren't you guys just in the UK and you, tra you know you travel a lot, so you should have an up-to-date passport. So bad on you guys. You guys blew that deal big time. So that's messed up already. So it's partly their fault, but so they're down in Cabo and they're playing a three V three match. And so there's only two camera guys and there's three guys going ahead, like Garrett and Steven. And I think Luke, they're playing in one group. And then, um, um, Matt, Bubby and, uh, uh, Brad Dalkey or Brad and whatever. There's three V three. And they're playing in two different groups. So now you have one camera guy per group. And there's a lot. What's cool is there's a lot of this foreshadowing going on where Matt Scharf is. He says a couple things like talks about his driver shaft, talked about, like, oh, it's it's, it, you know, it's good for me. Like a little things, not to mention the phenomenal editing and the music they have just kind of like enticing. Oh, is this it? Is this it? Is this the whole? Is this the shot? Oh, no, it's coming. Like all this foreshadowing. The It's fantastic. Okay, I highly, I watched the entire video and loved it. It was great, great anticipation. And the hole in one comes at like their eighth hole, a 360 yard. On the card, it's a little different. Matt later goes back and lasers it, lasers out at 360 yards for the record books for him. Okay, so, but around the fifth hole, because they were waiting so much for, uh, it was just slow out there. So they paired up and played the last few holes as a group of six, which is great. So now we have two cameras in the group. Why on earth you don't have a guy on the green? Once you lock down to two camera guys for the final couple of holes, few holes, why don't you have someone on the green? Okay, so kind of screw up number two is is that fact so that's why i think a lot of people are skeptical about this like one it's on the heels of another youtube group getting a hole in one so then they come out and they, they're gonna do it all right so 
the scene is they hit Sharf is hitting second to last. So his team's going second. He's the second guy on his 3v3 team. He hits it and hits it up the left side of this 360 yard par four kicks, kicks off the hill, goes, and it's going on the green, obviously, toward the hole. And then it goes in a little depression. That's it, disappears. And then from that point forward, until the hole in one is revealed, the, I mean, the buildup, the commentary, the editing is phenomenal. I mean, great, great job, guys. Great job, Colin and team of editors who are putting this thing together. I mean, awesome, awesome job. I highly recommend if you, everybody's seen it. Video was on trending on YouTube. It's fantastic. Now, another conspiracy theorists out there are saying like, look, Sharf is or is an actor or wants to be an actor. And in previous videos and posties, he's acted out some scenes. He's done some crazy bits of Jim Carrey and different people. And he, he, you know, he has said like he wanted to be an actor. All right. First of all, uh, okay. Let's just assume he's a great actor. Okay. And, um, we're just going to give, give him like, he's really good. Let's just say that. Okay. In order for him to pull this off acting wise and being fake, he would have to be Tom Hanks. Good. Like his acting, if it was acting was Tom Hanks level. And so I don't think Matt Sharp is that good of an actor. Tom Hanks, like who is right? There's not that many people out there. So acting wise, if Sharp is a great actor, let's say he's Keanu Reeves, which that, as bad as Keanu like is, he's still good, right? He's still no, he's got some camera presence. Let's just say Sharp is that level. We'd be able to see right through that. I mean, we can all see through Keanu's acting, but we put up with it because he makes great movies. So this is not a Keanu Reeves movie. It's a good, good golf YouTube video, okay? Which are great, but they're not Keanu Reeves style movies. So if he's acting it, we would see right through it is what I'm saying. Cause he's no Tom Hanks. Sorry, man, you're not Tom Hanks. Very few people are. So, but let's assume for a sec that you are. All right, we're gonna give you Tom Hanks acting credibility right now for the next couple minutes. Let's just put you in that category. And I would think Matt Sharp would say, I'm no Tom Hanks, right? We, I, but I'm gonna give it to you. It's yours right now. Now you have to have Garrett Clark has to be up there. Like he's got to be Tom Hanks sidekick here. And, and Garrett's not an actor. Okay. And then you got, uh, Luke Kwan. It, come on. Is he an actor? Steven? No, no come on. You're going to have to pull it off too. And Bubby, Bubby might be able to pull it off. All right. Let's just say he could. So you got, you know, three, you got another guy, maybe. And then you got Brad Dalkey. Now, Brad Dalkey's a great golfer, and so is Luke Kwan, and golfers are known for being great actors, right? No, they're not. The golfers cannot act. So Luke and Brad, I'm sorry. Like, you guys are sticks. You guys are some top players. Dalkey almost won the U.S. Amateur. Like, he's, he's a golfer. He's not an actor. So you're asking for all those guys, six guys, and two camera guys to be in on this. Like, this isn't the moon landing here, right? You don't have NASA astronauts in on the whole thing where we're going to uh, do stuff to your family if you ever say what really happened. Like, that's not what this is. This is a YouTube video. And my man Nate Edwardson talked about this as well. Like, what's the upside of faking it? There is no upside. They're getting millions of views already. This is one video. There's no upside in faking it unless, of course, Diamante said, we'll give you guys a hundred grand if you hold in one, one of these guys, which wouldn't be a bad idea for Diamante and other courses to say, um, yeah, we really want a hole in one. I could see that offer being thrown out on the table. And when we watch that video, I mean, I am scouring the, uh, let's just say Let's just say it's fake, but they don't know it. Like Diamante has somebody out there and they're going to put the ball in the hole. Well, you still need a guy to hit the shot on the green and 
put it out there and then you need somebody like sniper crawling through the the grass and i don't think diamani is like let's be honest like people don't really think about this like we're gonna have to get navy seal sniper in camouflage to look like a putting green shimmy out there put the ball in the hole get away at the exact moment some dude hit a shot so phenomenal at the right place and time with the right camera guys all over the place and uh, we're gonna put it in and not tell them okay that's ridiculous that did not happen here okay so we know that didn't happen. We know that didn't happen. I'm scouring the background. I've got my Navy SEAL looking like I'm looking for the little motion that doesn't, you know, fit in. It, it's not there. Okay, emergency break in right here. Uh, if you watch this, I'm editing the video, right? And there, as I'm slow mowing and I'm putting the stuff in, there's a kid or somebody bobbing up and down in the background. And um, what is that? Okay, we did find something. I gotta, I gotta point it out because one of you is gonna point this out. There is a, there's somebody back there. Uh, they might be pogo sticking or something. Somebody's got to get a hold of this kid and see what he saw or find out who that person is. I'm, they're far away. Okay, they're far away, and they're, it looks like they're pogo sticking. So I don't think they have anything to do. With it. But I am addressing it here and putting a little, showing it to you because it's there. Take it for what it's worth. This is not the Zabruder film. It's not a, a Sasquatch is not here and lurking in the background. Some kid on a pogo stick or whatever he's doing. And I, he didn't throw a ball from there. And you can't get from there down to the green and back up in time to pull this shenanigans off. So it has nothing to do with it. It's just kid playing ball in the street. Back to the video. So I think we can fairly say this is not a fake job pulling one over on all of us. It doesn't make any sense. Plus, when they, this was filmed weeks ago, it wasn't like they saw George Bryan's hole in one and said, oh, we got to one-up it here in Diamante. Let's go. And they planned this whole thing. No, they didn't do that. It was filmed weeks ago. The only thing that shocks me is how in the world can you sit on it for that long and keep your mouth shut? Good job for you guys. I mean, they got the... They're locked down tighter than the White House. So fantastic job, good, good, and crew for keeping, uh, you know, your lips sealed on this. I love it.